G'day mate and welcome back to Desynced with me, Judy. In our last episode, we got sad. I, I mean sand, uh, sand, sand, and also made silicon. I also got a new keyboard. So now I have the ability to use the N key again. Uh, we also set up some simple mining with some simple signals and we visited a couple of friends and then um, we blew up the couple of friends so I didn't have to deal with a couple of friends anymore. But today's episode, oh, 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 and between episodes, uh, we also had a visit from a different friend. A different friend, a curious bot who came far too close to well, uh, our command setup, so um, we dealt with that problem. We dealt with that problem and he shall not be visiting again. But today's episode, I want to do a couple of things. The first thing I want to do is I really want to start scaling production. We really need to scale up production because what we have currently works, but um, I want something that works a little bit longer term. I also want to set up a couple of robots to um, start loading in some little basic programming to get some basic things done. But uh, we'll be covering all that, of course, after I ask the most important question of all, and that is, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. Not happy with the video, didn't enjoy the video. Well, by all means, you can have your like back. Now, in our last episode, uh, we went and enabled Mr. Trash Pickup. A Mr. Trash seems to be corrupting the planet. Electrical interference prevents entry. We would need to research it more if we wanted to enter. We also got interrupted by Elaine. Yeah. This blighted area is highly concerning. Our equipment is malfunctioning and navigation will be difficult. We need to proceed with caution. In order to better understand the blight, we should gather samples of the blight gas. This requires specialized equipment which can be produced in the assembler. Yes, boss. Okay, in our last episode, we automated our little trash pickup robot, and he's doing a pretty good job of, well, picking up trash. Now, I want to uh, automate a couple more bots. Also, I want to automate a whole bunch of new recipes we got in the last episode. So, of the new recipes we got in the last episode, one was the deconstructor. Uh, another one was the portable transporter, which is uh, d Sync's version of inserter. Very, very important. We're going to want to use a lot of those. Uh, also, portable shield generator. As we've had uh, two different types of friends by now, definitely going to want to automate those as well. Uh, next thing is the wind turbine. Now, I released a separate video, separate video on uh, how to store power, move power, generate power, all those sorts of things. I'm going to actually link that in the top right-hand corner because I think it's worth a watch. But um, your wind turbine has the advantage over the solar panel. The solar panel only makes 50 power whilst it's daytime. In saying that, it's only nighttime from, what, uh, 9.30 at night to 2.20 in the morning. So what's that? Five hours worth of night, four hours worth of night. Yeah, nights are not very long. But the solar panel costs, uh, if we hold we down. Are the threshold of a revolutionary discovery. Gateway technology will be a leap forward in our knowledge and understanding. It will grant us the ability to create superior materials, vital for repairing our ship. Moreover, we can learn to construct an advanced computer simulator that will assist us in understanding the mysterious nature of this world. If we hold down Alt and get interrupted again, we can see that our solar cells cost 12 iron, uh, twelve metal ore, along with 20 crystal. Uh, whereas a wind turbine costs 86 metal ore, 51 uh, of the crystal, and also 5 sand. Very, very expensive. Does have the advantage of it provides power day and night. Also has the advantage of producing 100 power on the plateau, which is where our little friends live. But um, you got to take into consideration they are much more expensive. Also, there are medium modules. That means they're going to have to go into a medium building. Also, we've finished that level of research. We are limited in technological advancements, though I recommend we investigate the planet's surface to gather intel. Several types of ruined structures can be found. They should provide insight into new technologies to help us progress. Cool. Uh, we also got, uh, after finding the little infected robot, we found an infected circuit board, which we're definitely going to automate. Uh, also repair components, definitely going to want repair components. And with the addition of blight technology, we now have a blight extractor, which uh, will let us suck blight gas out of a blighted area. That seems very, very important. Uh, can I just craft just one of those for right now? Because they require ingredients that I can't make. Also a blight container because blight is a gas and our robots don't know how to move around gas currently so yes yes uh also that is another recipe that we can't craft they require walter white uh special and also um energized energon cubes yes which are both things we don't know how to make yet all right first things i want to do is i want to do a whole bunch of things but 
First thing I want to do is we also got access to a couple of new robots. I want to have cubs. How many cubs do I want? I want two. Two cubs, please. Uh, but they're going to require that we make wire. Now, wire we just got access to, which happens in a manufacturer. Now, so far, up until now, I've been... Majority of the time, I've been using the two, uh, the one by one two S because I can put two small modules on here that caches and hands two inventory slots. Whereas our wire requires two separate ingredients plus an output. Uh, wrong button. You, you, you. Uh, negative one. Cool. So this needs to go into a one by one one S. Also, it has a crafting time of 16 seconds. So we're going to want a few machines doing this, and that brings up my first problem. I put down a 2S here, which is problematic because I can't put what I need in there. So we're going to hope to get a cub out of the catches our company's wire, which we don't have wire. So we need to make some wire. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, next thing I want to do whilst I'm waiting, whilst I'm waiting, so I want to scale up, is I want to put in a single storage block. Uh, so I have that done. They're done. They're done. Okay, this up here, we're going to request in the blight extractor and a blight storage container so we can start gathering blight. Gathering blight is going to be a slow process, a very slow process. Uh, but we're going to want to start gathering that at least. And that also means I want to set you to infinite, please. So you just keep producing forever. And trash pickups are doing a great job of picking up all the trash. Uh, you're bringing over the extractor. Okay, so the extractor we can jump, uh, dump on there and yes it's just going to well suck in the gas and then if i put in a storage container we can store well the extractor can have one slot worth of storage and the small container gives us another three slots worth of storage three it says two but gives us three sure uh problem is this is going to suck in one gas every eight seconds Oh my god, eight seconds is a very, very long time. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, one guess. It's gonna take a while. All right, so, uh, all right, we're waiting on a cub. Whilst I went on a cub, I wanna get you up and running. Can I request in, please, a uh, capacitor? Uh, two of, can I request in here a capacitor one of? Can I also request in a portable transporter? Wait. One. And you just nicked off with it. Thanks. Uh, capacitor. Okay. So, this guy. This guy. Portable transporter. Portable transporter. He can move anything from um, any building within one tile of where he is. Okay. Which is going to give us a massive advantage in just one second. Because what I want to do here is I want to have an internal storage. I want to have a... No, not really an internal storage. I want to have a mass storage. A mass storage where we're going to dump all sorts of things. So, what I want to do is I want to have a storage block beside a storage block. Uh, oh, we have our cub. Uh, can I get a cub to have a heavy controller? Also a deconstructor. That one. Uh, can I have a go to... You can live here. And you can have a store here. Okay. And we're waiting on that to get built. And you are our second guy. You are going to have... Do, 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 our repair module. And also a radar. And I think that's all you need? Did you... You just dropped it off. You idiot. Come here. Okay. That goes in the cup. Alright. And then I want you to store things here and have a go-to module here. So that way you generally hang out over here. But if you have anything in your inventory, you're going to dump it over here. Okay. This guy. This guy. I'm going to load up a program for him. I want him to auto-decon. All right, so what he's going to do is he's going to look anything within 15 tiles of where he is. He's going to check if uh, whatever the entity is outputting as a signal is what? Well, whatever the entity is outputting is a signal, which is, well, 
every single thing he's going to scan. Yeah, it's not great programming, but it's a start. Okay. Uh, if the signal happens to match this color red, it'll send it to this component being the deconstructor. That's his whole program. Nothing too smart. And he's going to scan everything within 15 tiles of him. And if I press Alt, uh, that is 15 tiles. So uh, we're going to get him to temporarily live. Actually, you can probably live here permanently. Yeah, I like living over there instead. All right, can I give you and you? And we're going to have you go to here as well. Okay. What I want to do is I want to set this guy to information, signal red, okie dokie. And then I'm going to start your program. So you're just going to scan everything around you for anything that's outputting the signal of red, which happens to be this building currently. When you do, you'll wander over there and deconstruct. Yeah, yeah. It'll take him a while because it's a lot of scanning he needs to do, but he will get there in the end. You are going to search for uh, damaged that we happen to own. And then you're going to output that to that module. That's going to be your whole job. Which means, uh, can I get team number two, make them team number one and bring them within range of you. You have a radar, so you have a range all the way up to there. So if I bring these guys over, he should pop over there and repair them. But that's hopefully what, what, what he does. Uh, caps lock. Caps lock again. Okay, repair bot. Uh, who's going to have a visual signal of that one? and damaged yep and it's been marked and you're not moving there oh, i need to output that as the go-to as well there we go all right meanwhile you still haven't found this guy modify behavior it's in a range of 15. It is scanning all the way through. It's just... Oh, there we go. He finally found it. He finally found it. He finally deconned it. Also, he's going to automatically bring everything to that storage. Right. Can I duplicate that building? All right. So, uh, he is going to bring whatever he happens to find, whatever he happens to pick up to this building. Now, this building, well, these storages, eventually they would fill up. I don't want them to fill up. So, we're going to have you, this storage, store all its stuff there. And as you can see, it happened automatically. Because this guy has this little portable transporter, being an inserter which will just move things automatically without the bots being involved. I love that idea. Uh, so we're going to copy and paste that to there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And all of these are requesting a couple of capacitors each because I don't want internal modules that have been put to storage to, well, end up uh, being put into these storage racks. Yes. Uh, also, I want to turn you off. Yes, because you're not going to be accessible. All right. So we're going to wait for those to get built. Meanwhile, I want to scale up production. I want to scale up production. So to do that, I want to do a few things. The first thing we're going to want to do is... Uh, let's go with these guys. These guys. These guys are fairly expensive. Uh, can I build a... 212M that has full storage, that has full storage. They're both bad options because they only have full storage. I prefer something with more storage and you're the cheaper one to build. So we're going to build you here and here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should work. All right. And these are getting built slowly and our, uh, you are going to be... Actually, can I get a new item for you? I would like you to have a signpost. Yes, and you can request in the signpost once it's done. Uh, and that way we can give you a name. And you have gone and repaired our scouts. Excellent. Can I bring the scouts over here? Because we need to do a few things with scouts today. Uh, I would like you to uh, request in 10 of those. Uh, 10 of those. 10 of those. Uh, so you have ingots, you have. So you have ingots, you have crystal. I need to have ore. I also need to have ingots, ore, crystal, plate, ingot. Plate. 
I'm grabbing the most common items. The most common items that go into um, explorables. Because the game has told me I need to go visit explorables. Uh, oh, you're storing things. You're an idiot. Okay. The system's not perfect. All right. I want you to store everything in here. I want you to store everything in here. And I want you to store everything in here. Cool. Uh, you now have that, which means we're going to set a sign and it is going to be decon. Great. You are now our decon bot. You will remove things and dismantle things and everything will be fine. All right. Storage. I want you to request in a portable transporter. Also, I want you to request in a behavior controller. controller. All right. These guys, I want, no, this guy, this guy. Uh, fix all slots to an item. I want all our output to be here. I want this to, and you, oh. Can I grab a behavior controller? Uh, portable transporter, rather, and put that in there. All right, uh, what I want to do is I want you to fix slots to an item. I want you to fix to, what is this recipe? So it's two bars to one plate, and we are making bars on site. So you can fix like that. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to request item. I want you to request in bars. I want you to request in 60. Uh, failed. 60. I also want you to request in plates. Okay. Then, uh, you have two modules on top, which I can put anything into, but I don't really have any medium modules that I'd like to put on a building, um, especially one that doesn't produce anything. Uh, I could put wind turbines on, but it's sort of a waste if you're not in uh, or up on the plateau. Uh, batteries, yeah, look, we can throw some batteries in there. If I ma manually drag them, it means they'll get physically put into their and then they have to end up in these sockets because they've got nowhere else to go. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to run this behavior. So you're going to request in the items, but these guys are going to no longer uh, have the bot supply items, only item transporters, okay? And then I'm going to copy that between all of them. So now item transporters, i.e. our little inserter, is the only thing that can physically move items between one and the other. So as you can see, the bots are throwing stuff in here and the yeet cannon is just yeeting them onto the next step, which means... Once we get here, which also has a portable transporter, we're gonna have you, and you have the sort of lock, we're gonna have you store everything in there. And you're gonna store everything in there, and you're gonna store everything in there, and you're gonna store everything in there. Which means, again, a yeet cannon's gonna dump everything in here. Which means, if a bot needs 20 of uh, these reinforced plates to build something, rather than this one maybe having five, and that having five, and having to make two different trips, he should just be able to pop over here and pick up all of them at one bulk spot. It's all about less transportation, less bots moving less things, all right? And this is only our first stage. We've got a couple of these I want to go through. Uh, you're going to store everything there. Store is shift right mouse button. Shift. Yeah, and then shift. And I need that to be finished. No, Floria bots. I was hoping somebody would come fix that. Okay, cool. All right. My little robot team, my little robot team, my little robot team can come over here and we can check out these explorables. Okay. Uh, it is clear these structures were built by a similar life form, yet the timestamps date back thousands of years. Okay. Oh, that, that's all you want to tell me? Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Puzzles. I don't mind this puzzle. Uh, although I have to say, after completing, I don't know how many of these already getting a little bit tedious uh that seems wrong that no that was correct that's correct that's more correct uh yeah the good news is if you're not a fan of these puzzles or the other type of puzzles the one where literally everybody who i've seen do the puzzle even though there's a hint if you click on the question mark in the bottom right hand corner it'll give you information about the other type of puzzle which makes them a bit of a bit easy to do uh, Serial numbers on some of these parts match our own exactly. However, the chances of two species evolving in exactly the same way are astronomical. How is such a thing possible? Aliens. Aliens. Always aliens. It's always aliens. They've got that thing about probing. Uh, can I also get a signpost for you? Can I get you to make me another signpost? But, nope. Signpost, please. 
Okay, you are gonna be our friendly little pickup bot. Uh, drop item, please. Uh, information in the power grid, please. Uh, you're gonna put there, and then you're gonna have a store register there. And you are gonna have that, and we're gonna set you set sign. Dear, I oh, know, uh, trash. Okay, so we have a trash bot now as well. Cool. Uh, you needed to output to there. And then you need to output to there. And then in here, I'm going to set you for high high priority. Yes, high priority means in theory. Oh, control right mouse button. Much better. Okay. Still. Okay, a bot has tried to help out. So we're going to go only item transporters, uh, cancel orders, cancel orders, uh, only item transporters, cancel orders, cancel orders. What is your problem? Okay. Yeah. I don't know why that's not moving. Cancel orders, cancel orders. Wait, you are set for only item transporters. You are set for only item transporters. All of these should probably be set for only item transporters. Uh, that one can't be, because it needs the bots. Well, technically it can be, but it's fine. All right, so you're gonna store there. Okay. Yep. Power down. Power up. Power down. Power up. Cancel. Alright, I give up. I give up. It should work. I know it should work. I've seen it work. Uh, okay, you guys. Uh, you've come back. You are going to dump that on the floor, and that on the floor, and that on the floor. And that on the floor, and that on the floor. And then my trash bots can come along and pick things up. Cool. All right, that's one thing I wanted to make sure. I made sure I want to make sure I had a trash bot that worked and would come collect things. The scouts, we really need them to find out which one has the radar. Uh, we don't need to search for that anymore. We want to search for uh, unsolved. Nothing in range. Cool. All right, and Mr. Repair Bot, Mr. Decon Bot. Mr. Decon Bot, I also want to give you a radar, sort of. All right, uh, we can send a Mr. Decon Bot off to rip down these explorables. It doesn't really give us anything. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why you're not finding unsolved. We're not finding anything within okay well that's gonna make sense over there uh so it won't give us anything but it does free up the area uh so i can have that one removed as well and our little robot team can start exploring there we go that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for these things because we need to have a couple of those blue cubes of which i have none uh because we can't make them. We can't make them till we do this technology research. After we've done this one, then... We are on the verge of a major breakthrough. This will allow us to develop our own new technologies based on the data we have gathered. After we've unlocked this one, uh, then we can make our own blue cubes. In saying that, they are super expensive. We have expensive. discovered key parts of deciphering these technologies. We are a step closer to the point where we will be able to create our own simulations. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, give me a sec. So the problem is you get halfway through one of these things and then if you walk away from it, it resets because this has popped up and I need to go deal with this because this is an anomaly and anomalies can be very important. They can also be very dangerous. Uh, okay, can I get... Uh, okay, can I get one of those and paste it there and there and... What other banks do I want to do? I want to do this bank as well. Copy and paste and paste. Cool. 
Uh, come on, robots. There they are. Okay. Investigate that. Clicky, clicky. And that gives another data cube and a large wind turbine. Not that I have any large modules. And we have explorables and bug holes. Great. Whilst we're here. Oh boy. No, that's a giant worm. Yeah. Uh, that'll kill my bots. Rapidly. Much better. Okay. Can we get rid of that bug hole before anything else spawns? And another giant worm. Perfect. I need bigger robots. I need bigger tanks. I need bigger weapons. Okay. Can we come back here? Can I dump that? In a... No. That. Just dump it on the ground. Dump it on the ground. The trash bottle. Pick it up. Uh, portable power field. I don't need. Signpost. We don't need. And trash bottle pick up those. Okay. I need one more explorable. Just one more explorable. That'll get me out of trouble. All right. Uh, meanwhile, these are being built. You are going to be fix all slots to an item. It's going to be green circuits. Fix all these slots to an item, which is going to be the reinforced plate things. Those ones, uh, which require us to bring in what? Uh, so six and two. Okay, so... Fix all slots for an item. Can I bring in those? Except... I need one of those. Okay, and we also need you to have a behavior controller, which is that one, right? Okay, behavior controller goes in there, plus the behavior controller goes in there. You need to bring in, uh, five and three. Let's go with... Sure. Uh, okay. Request item and request item. We're gonna go with uh, 60 and then plates 20. Done. And crystals and plates. Okay, you should run, you should request everything. Uh, you then need to be set to only item transporters and store all your stuff here. And then we can copy and paste all those. Also means that these I should set up for visual, green circuits, negative. Okay, so we can see we've got 80 there. I should also do the same here. We should set you to be those forever. We can see how quickly I'm burning through iron. That's not worrying at all. Uh, visual is gonna be to do those forever uh heavy controller is that one and that one it is crystals uh, sorry uh 60 yeah and what was the thing we we're making we we're making those which require those uh 20. okay so you're gonna run you're gonna request in those uh you're gonna be set to only item transporters and you're going to store your info or your stuff there. And then we're going to copy those across and we're done. All right. So that's just minimizes some of the spots we're dropping off things. Uh, can I find... You'll do. You'll do nicely. Hopefully you have an easier puzzle and I don't get interrupted halfway through. Oh. Okay. Give me a sec. This just take a little time. A little time to sort out. And there's more of them. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go in cheap and we are just going to find another bug hive. Uh, that one's not too bad. See, these are interesting. Like, don't get me wrong, they're, they're fun to do, but they're fun to do occasionally. Uh, therefore, when the devs announced in this, there's a new or experimental branch of the game already where they've made these optional. And I've got to say, if I was to start again, uh, I probably would take the optional option and just turn them off. Okay, uh, we would really like to clean out that bug hole. That's a giant worm. We're happy to run around and leave the giant worm alone. Cool. All right, I've got enough crystals. I've got enough giant data cubes to finish off what we're doing. Uh, you guys are all mining. Excellent. Worm's given up. Perfect. Can I drop you in there? 
and then we can literally just drop the rest of the stuff on the ground. Uh, the behavior controllers I am finding do have data in them. They do do things, uh, but we're going to leave those for later. All right. So with that done, I want to do a few things. Okay. First off, we have cubs. They carry medium sockets. What I'd like to do is I'd like to make a combat cub. Okay. It's already pre-configured. Uh, and library. Uh, combat cub. Edit. So combat cub comes with a media turret, also comes with a capacitor and a portable shield generator. The problem is probably going to be keeping it powered because we don't have very advanced power options yet. But if I can get a couple of these, just to stand as stationary guards for the net for right now, I'll be very, very happy. They are also very, very expensive, I should add. Uh, you are not storing items properly. That portable transporter looks to be broken. Ah, uh, because you're not in the grid at all? That would be why. It's the simple things. All right, so you should shuffle everything through there. Uh, you should be built. Great. I also are, are about to get access to a new layer of technology, which is going to lead to four more of those. It's also going to lead to one of them. We now have our fundamental material technology, but to fully repair our ship, we will have to pursue even more sophisticated materials. Research advanced materials. Gateway technology has opened up an array of potential research avenues. I recommend constructing a re-simulator. Its ability to manipulate data on a simulation level allows for the creation and enhancement of technologies comparable to our ship, which are essential for our repairs. Be mindful that the re-simulator's functionality may yield unpredictable outcomes, leading to interesting discoveries through experimentation. Be advised, increased production capabilities may be required due to the re-simulator's resource demands. Okay, so we now have access to a re-simulator, which is a very, very expensive building that we're not going to be building right now, because it requires a couple of new things. The first new things it requires is, it requires a uh, Walter White Special. Yeah, uh, I need to start automating those in the refinery, which we also just unlocked. Also requires cable, which for some reason is made in refinery, and now also requires the high density frames, being the Energon's, Energon? Energizer. Energon cubes. Uh, can I also grab one of those and put one of those in there? Uh, actually, that's pointless. Cancel order. Never mind. All right. Uh, so I need to set up you to have those. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done it this way. It's fine. It's done now. Uh, can I get a... Yeah, that'll, that'll do us. Uh, you are going to stop requesting items. I don't actually want you to request items because I need to look at the recipes. Uh, so the recipes is we want to make... That's refinery, that's refinery, that's assembler. Okay, so you are going to be sand and crystal, more crystal than sand, and we'll just turn you on forever. Uh, which means you're going to be sand, uh, which also stacks in 20. It does stack in 20. Uh, and then unfixed slot. Drop item, is that an option? It is an option. Uh, Fix slot to an item, it's going to be sand, and that should get picked up by the trash pot. I love it when somebody cleans up after me. All right, we can turn you on. Uh, we can also put that in there. We can set you to that as well. And link that into there. Okay, uh, also means it's actually quicker and easier for me to set you a red signal. Copy, paste, paste, paste. And I sort of like the idea of doing that. So that way I can see them as well. Uh, which should bring our decon bot over here eventually and then just copy and pasting these guys. Uh, only item transporters, and you already have the item transporter, so you're good to go, and they're gonna take a minute or two to make. Yeah, yeah, uh, a long minute or two. You have, yeah, so they're both crafting, okay. Uh, next thing we're going to need is another one of these. And I get one of those as well. And I can try requesting these in. Uh, 
I don't think I have two on the network. And you suck. Oh. You know, range of 15. Yep, you're... Hello? Oh, you could only just see the, f the far one. Okay. Yeah, let me help. Automated, not automated with good code, but automated. All right, uh, I need to have these built as well, which is gonna be a problem because they're gonna take a while for the components to show up. Uh, and the other thing we had to do was, I need another, another set. Uh, can we go with another, another set? What does an energized cube require? It requires these things plus cable, okay. So we're gonna go with you, go there, and you, go there. Cool. Uh, you need to go there and there. Oh yeah, that's gonna take a minute or two to get built, uh, which is fine, it's fine, because uh, what I wanna do is, I wanna make sure I have a guard up there, a guard here, we'll put a guard here. What I want to do is, I want to end the episode here. Uh, we have at least finished off the main tech tree, uh, which means we can get into the advanced stuff in the next episode. Also, we might as well start the virus research, which requires infected circuit boards, because I have 20 of them already built. Uh, they require the bug uh, chitin, and we have some of that already. Uh, also need, means this miner. Can I just send you over here and you find new ore, please? Yeah. Also, our power is... um. Okay. Yeah, we're probably at the point uh, with all the things that we've added recently. Need to look at even more power. Uh, you are going to store your craft here, and you are going to be. Oh, wrong button. Uh, fix all slots to an item. It's going to be that item. Yep, we're going to have our Walter White special come out into that slot. And we're limited by sand, which means I need to fix sand mining, and I'm pretty sure. We're basically out of sand locations. Yep. And we've got all of 65 blight, which means we're not mining it fast enough. Yep. Next episode, uh, definitely more scale. More, more, more scale. Definitely more scale. Also, we need to go find some sand. Uh, repair bots over here. And decon bot can go decon that one. Uh, and your module showed up, and then somebody else promptly ate it. Yep. Okay. Alright, I will see you guys next episode. Next episode, scale. A lot of scale. We did a few little things to help with, um, well, deliveries. Deliveries uh, into one building to then redistribute to four buildings, which definitely helps. But uh, as we can see, we don't really have a lot of metal ore. We definitely don't have any ingots. We definitely don't have any plates. Circuits, we're fine on. Uh, but a lot of our metal is being cycled up to, well, the next tier of... Well, the next tier of technology, then the next next tier of technology, and then we still have two tiers above that that we also need to bring things into, which is why, um, yeah, we need to scale. We need to scale a lot. But that'll be happening in the next episode, not this episode. So, uh, as always, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to remind you, hit the subscribe button. I'm also going to say that, yes, uh, more tutorial videos are coming out here, there, and everywhere. So, maybe by now, maybe if not by now, probably between now and the next episode, we should have one on mining, because um, that's probably the next thing I need to scale and power, but power I can do between episodes. But yeah, uh, definitely mining. Mining definitely needs an improvement. But um, I'm gonna leave this episode here. As always, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.